M3FJZ here. This video here is going to document how I run my ladder line from the uh, from the shack out to the actual loop antenna. And uh, it starts here at my balance tuner. And the outer, it's a um, link coupled balance tuner. The outer coil is the 50 ohm side. It's it's connected to the rig through a, the coax, 50 ohm coax. Uh, there's the clip leads where I will select the uh, primary taps based on SWR returned through that 50 ohm line back to the rig. It um, the coax is then connected to the uh, MFJ watt meter SWR meter down there where it says ANT comes out of that uh, watt meter SWR meter over to the actual rig and there's the 50 amp or 50 watt amp okay so on the secondary side I have clip leads that select the taps I have a parallel tuning capacitor and then the ladder line starts here. These two red clip leads comes up. It's attached to my wall. Goes down a few inches into two holes on the workbench. That then comes on this side of the workbench leg down to the floor. I get the light in here. Actually goes through the wooden floor. I have two insulators here. And I'll pick up. It goes down into the crawl space. Okay. Here we are in the crawl space. Here's where the uh, Ladder line comes through the floor. Bring it up in there. And there's two insulating sleeves that make the 90 degree bend there at that wood board there. The ladder line continues. over to the block wall goes out through two pieces of half inch PVC water pipe that I have cemented into that block and that there's two holes that penetrate that block to the outside okay here's the other side of that block wall under the deck the ladder line continues as ladder line, and it's, it's never changed. It's been ladder line the whole way. Goes up under the deck, over to over to a a junction. There, I have a piece of um, conduit PVC where the uh, ladder line. Uh, terminates into two banana jacks. Okay, here's the other side of that termination. You can see I have two banana jacks. That I can, when I th if I think thunderstorms are coming, I'll pull these out and throw this across the yard to the other side. Comes down. Goes up to the deck, up to another support, goes over up to the loop, and the loop is supported in four places. It's a actual square, completely square loop. 
There's one insulator there. Here's where it connects to the loop. Okay, goes over. to a light pole that I have. There's the one insulator on the corner. Comes down to the shed. There's an insulator there. Comes up to a, it's about a 25 foot mast made from three 16 foot two by fours. I hope I'm pointing, the sunlight's so bright I can't see the display that well. Goes up to that insulator. That mass is just simply attached to the fence. Continues up. Back over to the other insulator. There it is comes over to this tree, comes down, and I have a turnbuckle here, or whatever, no, a cleat, whatever the proper term is, and I can lower the uh, Lower the antenna. Okay, and here's where the ladder line attaches to the loop. And that's the insulator connection. So, there's my loop antenna and how the ladder line feeds it. Okay, 7-3 everyone, N3FJZ.